Alright everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem 6 The Binding Blade. Alright, last time, yet again, we had to repeat a chapter off stream because we screwed up. Now, yeah, let's just dive on in. So we're, we were on chapter 12, The Real Enemy. And, uh, we actually beat the level, got everything, kept everyone alive. The problem was we took just slightly too long and... Then, apparently, we got locked out of the side quest, which we need to get the side quest if we want to get the good ending of the game, which I obviously do. So, I mentioned last time I was kind of annoyed, and I'm like, I played fast. That's just not fair. Well, that's not really true. I was very efficient with my moves, but I would say I'm, I was only efficient with my inefficiency. The main problem and the main reason that we sl got slowed down is I had Chad, my thief, on this side. I had him start opening the treasure chests, but I had him leave early without unlocking those two so he could go and recruit Ray over here because I didn't know if Ray was going to start attacking me. Should not have done that. I should have let him open those two chests, then left, because then he would have been able to go over here, get these two chests, and then bada beam, we could have finished the level. Instead, after getting those two chests, I had to ferry him all the way back here to get those other two chests. So I actually took way longer than I should have. Now, to be fair, on this new attempt, I'm still on turn 18, so I'm still just kind of cutting it down to the wire, but... Yeah, the, the time limit on this level is actually pretty fair. It's more just I was pretty inefficient. I made a big mistake by not having Chad just finish the chests before going to the other side. As you can see, I wasn't able to kill all the wyverns, nor was I able to kill the sniper this time. Well, I didn't kill the sniper last time either. It was annoying. I was trying to pick him off from a distance, but then the stupid guy with the physics staff and the men's staff just kept healing him, so I figured, no, it's not really worth it. There's a lot of EXP that I lost out on, but anyhow, uh, Gonzalez is a level 14 now, which is pretty cool. Lelina got speed twice, so she has 8 speed. She's a speedy girl now. Uh, Chad is whatever. Clarine's a level 14. Lot is level 16, and he has gotten some very lackluster level ups. Ah, oh, man. Like... I'm going to keep breeding him, probably, but he's going to be waiting a while for one of those Heroes Crests. Like, I've already promoted Rutger, and I'm going to promote Deke next. And honestly, the way things are going, I might want to use Gonzalez instead if I get another Heroes Crest. Uh, Thaney leveled Strength again, I believe? And she's she's doing pretty well. And now that I have two Elysian Whips, I'm, debated, I'm debating early promoting her, which I think could be a decent option. I've been told that early promoting her is pretty good. Ray, I didn't use him at all, or I guess I used him I used four uses of the Nosferatu to break down a wall. So I haven't actually gotten to level him up. I might use him, I might not. I think there's another unit. I think you get another Dark Magic user in a bit, and I kind of want to use them instead. I've been alerted of them uh, already. Elfin's gotten some lackluster level ups, but that's okay. He's a bard. He could literally have zero in every stat and like one HP, and he'd still be good. Hi, Proximo. Welcome, welcome. Nice to see you. Rutger, he hasn't gotten a level up, but that's okay. This time, I didn't kill the boss of Rutger. I killed the boss of Deke. I gave him the Worm Slayer. And I think that was a slightly better move, because I want Deke to promote pretty soon. Ellen is very quick to being able to... She's very close to being level 20, and then we can promote her with the Guiding Ring. Trek is doing pretty okay. I've decided I'm going to use the, the Dragon Shield on Trek. I think that's a good choice. 13 defense on a Cavalier, and plus he gets more after he promotes. He'll be so tanky. I don't want to say he's invincible because he has zero res, but I think that's going to help him out a good amount. And then also, Lance reached max level on this attempt. And he capped speed, so before we finish the level, we are going to use that Knight's Crest to promote him. Oh yes, Lance, our man! He's no longer just a Cavalier, he has now ascended! Lance is now a Paladin! Ooh, yeah, those those stat boosts. So now Lance is pretty doggone stacked. 14 strength and 12 defense. I guess it could be better, but with 22 speed and, like, 11 luck. Oh, he, he's dodging so much. He has 60 avoid. If he gets weapon triangle advantage, which he can, because he can wield every weapon in the weapon triangle now. Uh, yeah. So Lance is pretty awesome. Anyhow. Oh, and now that he's done that, Ellen can heal him up a bit just to get that sweet, sweet extra EXP, and then Roy, go ahead and conquer the throne. Oh, you've been watching a stream of Wand of Gamelon. That is definitely a game that exists, as much as I like to pretend that it does not. That was close. The power of a dragon. Amazing. 
A human not human. Yeah, so this is... How many of these just burn half? How are we... Yeah, this is, this is all the same that we saw last time. Our card was tied in with burn. What a butt. How dare he? Okay, yes, here we go. This is new. Master Roy, before returning to the mainland, we still have things to do on these isles. Are there still more enemies? No. One of the divine weapons is hidden in a cave near here. If we can obtain it, fighting the dragons will become a little easier. Divine weapon. Exactly! If we can get all eight of them, we have a chance of defeating Burn. Yes. We must obtain as many as we can. Then let's go to the cave that you speak of! There we go. Now we get the side quest. Okay, cool. 12X, the Axe of Lightning. Oh, we're going to get Armads. Excellent. Following Elfin's lead, Roy headed for the cave near Juto to obtain the Divine Weapon. But Roy and company weren't the only ones who knew of the cave. Yet another battle was awaiting them. Of course there is. Oh, hey! This is... Yep, I recognize this map. This is in Fire Emblem 7. I, I guess it looks a bit different. We're on the left side of the cave this time, rather than the right side. So this is the Armads cave. Uh... <laughs> Oh, and there's fog. There was not fog here last time. That's just great. Okay, a lot of bandits. Nothing unusual. And there are lots of poison uh, gates. And a lot of treasure chests. Okay, so we definitely bring in a thief for the uh, vision as well as the chests. Actually, we might want to bring two thieves, because there's a lot of chests, and I'm guessing enemies will be trying to take it as well. And, of course, a throne. Okay. Okay, we can't take that many people, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can only take eight, and one of them has to be Roy, so I don't think we should take two thieves. What is the augury? Oh, this is, like, how our ranking... Which rating do you want to see? Uh, let's judge them all at once, sure. All right, la la la. Keep up the good work! Well, that's it! That didn't tell me anything. How fast are we progressing? Not very, because we're, we've are we been building supports. Alright, la la la! What the heck is this? You're doing pretty well! Well, that's it! Okay! Oh, this is maybe this is more lenient than FE7 is, where it's like, Oh, FE7, are you not, like, rescue dropping and using the warp staff all the time? Oh, you're doing terribly at tactics. Battle skill, are you winning, son? <laughs> how about instead of just telling me how I'm doing, you can help me out at being a dancer? You're doing really well! Oh, sweet! Casualties, we've had several people die. You're doing pretty well! Only, like, five people have died. Experience? Alright. Keep up the good work! Okay. Funds we're probably not doing great on, because I've been using all these stat-boosting items. Which count towards funds. You're doing really well! Never mind! Wow, I thought I was kind of dirt poor. Power? What the heck does that mean? This is just, like, unit's total strength values. You're doing really well! Okay, thanks, Lalum. Okay, we're not doing that again. Okay. Who should we take? Um, maybe don't take Lance, actually. If he's promoted, he won't, he'll be kind of hogging some of that experience. We ain't using Chad. We're using Astol, though. We'll definitely bring him for the uh, vision and for the treasure chest stealing. As for the others, I definitely want Ellen as my healer. Or maybe, maybe Chlorine. Now I'll bring Ellen, and she can promote. Uh, yeah, I definitely want Shrek. Not Lot. Not bringing a Lot here. I will definitely bring Lelina. She's great, even though she's a bit of a liability. Um, Elfin is good. Thaney's kind of good. Well, Thaney's okay, I guess. But Ray, we could bring him. Nah. I think I'll bring Gonzalez. I should have an Axe Wielder. Just in case. I don't expect a lot of Lance users here, but you never know. And I guess we'll keep Elfin away as well. Alright. Alright, Chad, give all Astol all of his stuff back. Alright, Astol. Sell that blue gem. Get some money. Oh, actually, we have a lot of money now. 
put that Lance Reaver away. That should be fine. Lelina, here's an Air Caliber Tome. You have earned it. We definitely need a sword for uh, Trek. Is Trek able to wield the Steel Sword properly? Not quite. He loses one point of speed. Hmm. Alright, Trek, we'll buy you an Iron Sword as well. There you go. Uh, we'll bring Root Gear in case things get out of hand. I think that... Uh, well... I don't know what the boss is going to be like, so yeah, maybe we'll bring Rooker just in case we need a boss killer. Deke can do pretty well. Okay. Ellen, take out that Guiding Ring. I think we're going to want that. Um... Maybe I'm taking a bit of a risk giving up her vulnerabilities, but I think once she promotes, she can use Light Magic, so... Oh, shoot, we can't buy Lightning Tomes here. Uh-oh. That's not good. I want her to be able to attack. Nobody has a Lightning Tome for us. Shoot. Oh, wait, we have a chest key? Oh, we're bringing the chest key. We are absolutely bringing the chest key. Wow! That's a lot of vulnerabilities that we should be using. Astol, you're also taking out these, uh, the torch. That'll really help with our vision. Alright, Deke, give me back the Worm Slayer, I guess. We're not facing dragons on this level, there's no way. Oh, wait! Oh my gosh, Rooker can use the Durandel. That's great. I will give him the Light Brand, though. Give him a ranged option. Alright, Deke, give you that Hero Crest. You'll probably end up using it on this level. Um... Do we have any axes that Gonzalez can use that might be helpful? He can't use the... Okay. Nah. We'll give him some vulneraries, though. Actually, oh, who should we give the chest key to? Let's give it to Roy. Roy might need some help with... Uh, might need to assist Astol a little bit. Okay, that should be good, I think. Hopefully this one will be a little bit easier. And we have the Restore Staff, because there will be poison on this level, but I think we can avoid it if we're good. Chapter 12X, the Axe of Lightning. Oh, you again? Why is your... <laughs> he hasn't brushed his teeth in a while. I was seeing very clearly green pixels in his mouth. Dude, when you eat Popeye canned spinach, you need to make sure you clean your mouth out. <laughs> so this is the end of the cave. Treasure, where are you? Answer me. Boss, are you sure about this? Burn told us to block the entrance to the cave. If they catch us now, we'll be sent back to prison. Idiot. We're gonna bury this cave anyway. So, they ain't gonna know that we look for the treasure. We took the treasure. If we bury the cave without taking the treasure, no one's going to be able to find it. Have you ever thought about how the treasure would feel then? This guy's weird. Well, I guess you're right. Uh, boss, there's an army stationed outside the cave! What? So they think they're going to take our treasure, do they? Have the boys near the entrance take them out and grab all the treasure chests. They're mine now! Cool, good. Cool, dude. A divine weapon lies in this cave. It's pretty dark in here. According to a scholar in Juto, if there is a divine weapon in here, it would most surely be the Armads, the Axe of Lightning. We took that in Fire Emblem 7, yeah. Also, in Fire Emblem 7, instead of going against random bandits, there were, like, ancient guardians here. We shouldn't have killed them all. Armads. An axe, not a sword this time. The Armads was used by Durban the Berserker, the largest and most muscular of the eight heroes. I remember him. A blow from his axe must have been quite a sight to see. Elfin, you certainly know a lot about the eight heroes and the divine weapons. I'm a bard. I know lots of myths and legends. I see. I want to hear them when we have the time. Of course. Master Roy, it seems that we have company in this cave. We do? There are also some strange fumes coming out of the cave walls. We must proceed with caution. Doggone it, I love the side quest music. Yeah! So, there are poison spouts in the wall. Anytime there's a hole here, or there's like one in the side... Or a gap down here. Yeah, we just gotta keep our eyes peeled. 
Okay. Oh, hey, there's a thief already. Great. <laughs> I love that. Uh, what uh, weapons do you guys have? Steel axe, steel bow, poison axe hand. <laughs> okay, I ain't worried about that. Let's take the treasure. Oh, antitoxin. That's a terrible treasure. Must admit, not the very great treasure. Halberd, gotta watch out for that. Okay. I will do my best. Okay, okay. My gosh. The music is so phenomenal in the side quests. Alright, well, let's take out the archer with our man Trek. Fog of War always makes me hesitant, but I'm also a bit optimistic as fog chapters generally don't have as many enemies. That's kind of their way of balancing it. Not always, but hey, with a thief we can see far ahead, which I appreciate that. Alright, let's see if Gonzalez can take this guy on by himself. Nice one, Gonzalez! Man, playable brigand. I love that so much. Uh, stand in front of Lelina here, Deke. I don't want her getting sniped by somebody coming from the darkness. Okay, we got a Myrmidon. Oh no, not a hand axe. Someone stole an elixir! Wow, that guy's far away. How are we going to deal with that? Hmm. Maybe we should split up the party a bit? Like, we don't need everybody going in this direction, so... Yeah, I think maybe Roy... Okay. Flux and a Halberd. Alright. Slightly disconcerting. Okay. Rooker, you got the light brand, right? Darn, it doesn't kill. Let's just use up that last L fire sooner rather than later. Here we go. Oh, shoot. I, maybe I should have brought a barrier staff. Oh, well. It's done is done. Alright, Gonzalez. Nice hit. Nice dodge. Alright, that's fine. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Oh, what does this Myrmidon have? Steel sword? Myrmidon with a steel sword? He can't wield that properly. Ooh, we can kill the thief! Wait, hang on. That guy doesn't have a halberd. No, poison. Okay, that, yeah. Halberd guy is not around here. Let's kill the thief before he can do anything. We can't kill the thief, actually. He's too fast! Well, we can severely weaken him. I guess I could have stolen his lockpick, but... Actually, no, I couldn't. I have a full inventory. All right, Astle. Good. Perfect kill. Nice one. Ooh, that, yeah. Thieves get a lot of experience. And he's level 10. Nice. Wow, defense on a thief. I will never complain about that. I like having thieves of good survivability. All right. Wow. Wow. That Steel Sword does help him actually damage Trek. Man, Trek with that Dragon Shield. Uh, oh, it's gonna be so good. Okay, that deals a lot of damage, but you got a low chance to hit, so... Get out of here, Mr. Bandit. I was afraid they might tag Team Roy. The Brigand and the uh, Shaman. Oh no! Not a Hand Axe! <laughs> Alright. We got an archer. Come on, it's super slow. You can dodge this, Roy. Yeah, exactly. 
That's my boy. <laughs> a torch, man. Man, other than the elixirs. Okay, other than the elixirs, these treasures suck. These treasures suck! <laughs> I was expecting things like, I don't know, goddess icons, maybe a promotional item or two. These these are slim pickings items right here. That's what I gotta say. Ooh, Lelina. Could... If you hit him with the elf fire, you one-shot him. And does he drop his, uh, his elixirs? He... Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, normally, normally they drop their items once they are killed. Okay. Ooh, yes! Oh, that Lelina support, man, that gives him so much extra power and crit. Actually, that might not give him extra power. It gives him extra crit! <laughs> hi -ya! I still think Roy gets a bit of a bad rap. Just based on what I've, I've experienced. Okay. You're the guy who stole the torch. Okay, I don't need the torch, particularly. I would much rather get rid of the archer. And pray that I don't have a halberd guy come out of nowhere and snipe Trek. That would be very bad. Skill and defense, alright. Super tank Trek. That better not... Okay, good. I'm like, that better not be a halberd. <laughs> hmm. Astol, man. He doesn't deal a lot of damage. I mean, I know he is a thief, but still. He doesn't deal a lot of damage. So what if we use the hand axe on that? Hmm. Guns. I don't like that one percent crit. I'm gonna have Gonzalez wait, because if he gets crit there, then that's game over. All right. Let's have Alina try using. A Ooh, that's actually a lot higher accuracy now. Oh, never mind. Kill him with fire. Yeah, I miss out on the elixirs, and that... Elixirs are good, but I don't feel the need, like, I have to steal them. If it was something like a goddess icon, yeah, I might want to steal that. <laughs> magic again. <laughs> Lelina's about to cap magic here. Alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna let Mr. Steel Sword attack Lelina. No, sir. Alright, Ruker. I guess at this point, because the path down here is about to diverge, Ruger, you can go this way. Do people down here have vulneraries? Roy has vulneraries, and that's it. Do people up here have? Okay, there are more. There are more vulneraries up there, so I'll keep my healer down here. Yeah, I saw that coming. Oh wow, nice dodge, Astel. I'm actually kind of glad Astel did not double there. Alright, alright. This level, it seems a lot tamer than the last couple. Like, again, it has Fog of War, and that's basically it. It also has the Poison Spouts in the wall, but... A, those are easy to avoid, and B, th those don't do a whole lot of damage. Wow, Deke doesn't double. He doesn't double a Merm with a Steel Sword. I'm very surprised about that. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want you going to that chest, so I'm going to try to stop you before you can. Darn it. Bit unfortunate. Alright, let's try to put an end to Mr. Handaxe. Oh yeah, Gonzalez the man who can always hit the, 90, the 61 percents. <laughs> Oh, nice level up. 
Strength and speed. What else do you need? All right, Astol, let's get a hit. Darn it. That's actually kind of bad. All right, so we got a couple of Lackwits over here. Wow, Roy, you can't kill. Even when he's in support range of Lolina, he can't kill. Oh, wait, never mind. Yes, he can. <laughs> Nice three percent crit, man. I appreciate it. All right, Roy, level up. Roy, level up. All right, I'll take it. More defense. That is always welcome. I hate how there's that one use L fire just taking up my inventory, but regular fire is just so much more accurate. Look at. How disgusting Lelina's offensive power is. 25 damage with a 12% chance to crit. It's nuts. Alright. <laughs> I'm not going to have Deke go super far ahead. Aha! Yep. Poison Axe, Hand Axe, and Steel Axe. The Z and Fog of War, you want to exercise caution. Ruger, I'm not worried about. <laughs> you can scout a little bit. Alright, as long as Astol doesn't get hit by this Axe Fighter, we should be okay. If he does get hit by this Axe guy, well, that's going to be bad. Really, 1 HP, that's it. And of course, we're going to delay getting that guy to attack until like the end of the turn to keep us in suspense. Alright, nice job, Deke. Let's see your level up. Oh, that's a really good level up. <laughs> that's like all the important stats. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. If he had gotten hit by a 10% there, I would have been a little ticked. <laughs> oh, Wow, all of these chests suck! How- okay, there's like three elixir chests, two antitoxin chests, a lockpick, and a torch. I don't really care about any any of those. There are free chests over here, though. And a chest up there. And a chest over there. Okay. You're gonna go over here, you're gonna use a vulnerary. To get that HP back up. <laughs> Welcome, Xavier! Nice to see ya! I wouldn't say it's the Cave of Suckiness. This, I, this is a welcome change from the last uh, couple of chapters. Yeah, Fog of War is kind of annoying, the poison spouts are whatever, but the enemies are pretty easy. So, I, I take what I can get. Plus, it has cool music. Everything's sucky, including the chests. That's true! All of the treasure chests have pretty sucky items in them. They've, they're... I've seen there have, there have been free elixir chests. I haven't gotten any of them. Two antitoxin chests, a torch chest, and a lockpick chest. The only one I've gotten thus far is the antitoxins, which are not great. But I guess I might use them. But hey, the enemies are pretty simple. Just a lot of brigands and the occasional, like, merc. We're getting some good EXP. Haja. <laughs> Deke, the strongest Fire Emblem unit. Oh, the Brigand. Hey, well, my Brigand, Gonzalez, is definitely pulling his own weight. He's pretty consistently hitting these 60%. He misses occasionally, but his hit rate is... He hits far more often than he misses. Okay. Trek, please just put, a, put an end to this stupid... Thank you. <laughs> At least the sol... Well, yeah, the soldier is more lackluster than the brigand is. Soldier can have uh, good HP and slightly better accuracy, but yeah, he, he's pretty bad. I don't want to... 
Okay, yeah. As Ruger, I don't want to run super headwall into danger. My gosh, promoted Rootger, you know, you can't one round a brigand. I know you have an iron sword, but still. That's kind of pathetic. I don't know, like, promoted Rootger is going to be useful for taking out a lot of the bosses, but, like, against the common enemies? I don't know, like, he's not great. Although he is great at setting up KOs for my weaker units. Oh, a physic, eh? Okay. If you fight brigands with lance units, there's a chance the fight is fair. Yeah, I guess there's some merit to that. Okay. Lelina? Uh, <laughs> okay, we're going to need Roy to get in range. Oh, yes! Perfect kill with Elfire. We can finally use up that last use of it. Oh my gosh, Lelina. The offensive power is just too much! <laughs> That's a worry trade. I lose an Elfire, but I get a weapon rank. She's A rank in Anima. That's great. Uh-oh, she stepped right in range of the Poison Spout. But that's okay, we've got a Restore Staff. Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna have Ruger stay here as a bodyguard, just in case there's something unspeakable over there. I, I agree. Lelina's only problem is her lack of doubling. That is very, very true. Oh boy, a chest key. You know what? I'll take it. Chest keys can be useful in levels with tons of treasure chests. Alright, Gonzalez, finish the job for me. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, and especially if she's an A-rank support range of Roy, Lelina not only gets a lot of extra attack power, she also gets a lot of extra crit power, so... Yeah, she don't mess around. Speaking of not messing around, Trek is on fire! Okay, I am glad I did not bring Thaney, because all of these axe fighters mean, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, oh <laughs> Okay, at first I was afraid there was going to be something like Bolting, or Purge, or like, Berserk. No, that no, was just Eclipse. If they put if they put long range tomes that are not eclipse on fog of war levels, that's kind of unfair. Looking at you, battle before dawn. Oh hey, you're the guy who has double elixirs. I kind of want to steal some of those, but oh okay, Trek has an empty inventory. I also asked to start chugging some of these vulneraries. Okay, so this guy will probably come closer. Trek, here, uh, Trek, take an antitoxin. That seems like a good trade. Okay, Ruger, we're gonna need you to scout. Alright, there's... Okay, he's got Nosferatu and Phys... Okay, that actually is not great. Oh, he's the Physic guy. Oh, hey, Lelina didn't get hit by the poison spout. Licky! One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Okay. I mean, Lelina's got high resistance. She's not going to die to a druid. That should be good. <laughs> Hey, if, if Lelina wants to crit for Roy Senpai, then great. That's fine. <laughs> I encourage that. Oh no! Why would you do that? You literally can't succeed. <laughs> There's a mod called the Son of Hector mod, but Hector doesn't have a son. Alright. Wow, you can't one... Here, 67% chance to crit. There we go. <laughs> There's the crit girl I know and love. Oh no! What arch... Uh, steel bow. 
whatever. Here. I could steal his lockpick, but I'd rather steal one of those elixirs that he has. Because I don't have any. <laughs> Actually, wait. He still has another set of elixirs. Although I don't have... He only has one vulnerary left. So here's what we're going to do. Gonzalez takes that vulnerary and drinks it. Actually, do you... Are vulnerary something you drink, or are they, like, a first aid kit that you, like, put on your wounds? I've always kind of wondered that, because, like, elixir to me would seem like you drink it. And that's basically an upgraded version. I never thought about it before. It's kind of like I always figured that you drank pure water, but I think you actually just apply it to your skin. <laughs> that sounds funny. I love it. Lelina using battle axes. That's, that's amusing. Although, I must say, I do like Mage Lelina. She's very cute. Very powerful. Like, she... Lelina, for all intents and purposes, is basically the magical version of Hector. Like, crazy power, crazy magical defense. Not... I well, No, her speed is bad. Her speed is worse than Hector's. Okay. She has a lot of magic offense and magic defense. Why do we... Why do I give my characters completely full inventories all the time? I probably should not be doing that. Also, my healer has not had a lot to do this chapter. Oh, there we go! Something for Ellen to do. <laughs> yeah. Also, so help me if the boss ends up being a brigand. Okay. Gonzalez, you can take the elixirs. Then we're going to steal the elixirs. <laughs> there we go. Thanks for your help. Bye. Do chests give any avoid? No, they don't. Why would they? Gi Why would chests give avoid? I don't know. But it, I felt like it was a fair question. Oh, that's right! Roy has a chest key! Oh, how honky dory! <laughs> wow, Roy! No <laughs> way to be a boss! That's the second low percent crit he's got in this chapter. Our boy, indeed. Probably should have given the chest key to Deke. But oh well. Oh. Um, Rooker, I think you should try the ice first. Again, I'm very wary about putting Lelina in harm's way. Given what has happened in the past. Okay. I think the enemies are by and large pretty much cleared out now. Wow, I actually got pretty much all the good chests, too. I don't care about missing out on the torches or the lockpick. Man, I hope I hope the Project Ember hack made some of these chests a little bit better. Got Just gotta say. Here, let's give Trek the chest key so he can go off and explore the world on his own. I want him to get that. <laughs> Man, <laughs> the the brigand here is like, oh man, we have to get the treasure. It's like, do we? These treasures suck. I guess he didn't know that in advance, but still, it's embarrassing. Stay so close to Senpai. I know there are more- oh, that was dumb. <laughs> uh, no, wait, that's free EXP for Ellen, actually. Uh, who has those antitox- actually, wait, do you have antitoxins? No, I gave them away to Trek, didn't I? I did. Whoops. No, I didn't. Roy has them.
Man. That might be the first time in Fire Emblem history that I've actually used an antitoxin. <laughs> oh my gosh, she... <laughs> Put him right in front of another poisonous spout, I'm a moron. Okay. I know there are at least four more enemies left, though. Otherwise, the victory music would be playing. There we go, max level Ellen. We'd be promoting her. Either that, or maybe the victory music doesn't play on the fog levels, or maybe it's like the only characters left are thieves and they're all retreating. That very well could be. Let's see, let's get a glimpse of the boss. Oh, that's where the last enemies are. Oh boy, it's Grero. Oh, Silver Axe, Hand Axe, and he's a Berserker. Okay, we picking him off from a distance. A Brigand of the Western Isles. This guy looks exactly like all the other generic brigands as well. Well, thankfully he don't move his butt off of the throne, otherwise we'd be in trouble. You got a Devil Axe. Oh, okay, that's actually scary. He has a killing edge. He could crit Ruker. If he crits Ruker, I have to reset. Not because of Ruker, but because of the Hero's Crest that he's carrying. Maybe he won't move. But that does worry me. I must say, that does concern me somewhat. No, I guess you don't move. Okay. Oh, yep, the thief retreated, so now it's playing the victory music. Cool. Trek, open up that chest. Ooh, white gem. Okay, that's a good treasure. That's a very good treasure. I just moved him in front of the poison spout like a doofus. Okay. I use smirt. Okay. Well, let's let's promote Ellen. She still only has 23 HP when she was max level. Ooh, she looks so classy as a bishop, though. Oh boy, she has free defense now. You can use light magic now. Yes, you can. Oh, you come with D-rank in light magic. That's actually nice. Okay, so she basically can't take damage from magic units, and she's probably not going to get crit. 17 magic is very high as well. <laughs> Are they gone yet? No. Are they gone yet now? How oh, can this get... Oh, wait. That guy can't kill Brooker even if he does crit. Oh. Cool. In that case, let's take him out. Wait, hang on. If he gets crit and then gets hit by the Devil Axe... Okay, so 16. So that's 16. That'll leave Ruger with... 25 health. And then if he gets crit here... Oh yeah, even if he gets crit here and hit by the Devil Axe, he'll be fine. And it don't matter. Take that, bandit! Oh yeah, Lomina's gonna have a field day against the boss. Oh, it's okay, Trek, Trek is good. Oh, yes! Perfect use of the fire! Lolina's the MVP! Oh my gosh, Lolina's so good. I hope I get another Guiding Ring soon, though, because um, I just promoted Ellen, that was my only Guiding Ring, and uh, Lolina's pretty close to being promotional worthy. <laughs> well, that's because Swordmasters in this are kind of stupidly good. Oh, Deke is also very close to being... I could promote Deke right now, honestly, if I wanted to. But the thing is, I don't want to. Okay. I'm not going to actually do... Oof. Yeah, 29% chance to crit. I don't like that. I don't like that, Mr. Frodo. Alright, who needs... Oh, that's right. Astol, you need healing. Alright. Here, you can take your hero's crest again. Alright, Astol, you start going down here. Open up the chest. We're going to preserve our other chest key as much as we can. Roy, get close. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, this is this is pretty good. All right, Melina, see what you can do. Okay, that was a great boss quote. <laughs> Deke, how do you fare against this guy? I don't like that. <laughs> the great Gonzalez. Oh, we should build Gonzalez Molina supports. We definitely should do that. <laughs> Trek, you're still the star of our hearts. He's level 17. Like, Trek, Trek basically cleared out this top area by himself, so he's done pretty well. Alright, Astol, let's see what this is. A red gem? Okay, that's worth getting. There we go. Man, Lavina's the real boss killer here. <laughs> now that's the daughter of Hector! And she's capped magic. That is... Now that is a level up! Oh, that's glorious. Uh, can... Uh, can you finish? No, you can't. Can you even... No. And this is when he's in support range of Rutger, too. How does Roy fare? Not good. I hate that... I hate that crit chance. I really hate that crit chance. Oh, yuck. He gets doubled. Okay. Let's just keep building new support up. <laughs> Guerrero's like, I'll keep recovering HP. You know, Guerrero, you could murder me if you stepped off that throne. But thankfully, the bosses are too stupid to do that. Or I guess you could argue they're too smart to do that, because the thrones do give you some ridiculous bonuses. Here we go! Alright, Guerrero, we can, you can, I can keep this up. I got lots of uses of my tomes. I got lots of uses of my tomes. Oh wait, I should be building up that uh, Roy Lance support. Or wait, that's not Lance, that's Trek. <laughs> I, I know who my characters are. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm willing to definitely make in Hector proud, no question. Alright, Astol, what you gonna get here? Oh boy. <laughs> that's, uh, I might just sell that. <laughs> that's, that's a terrible reward. <laughs> that is, I do like the dancing emotes. They're great. Alright, last treasure chest. Wow! These chests suck! <laughs> They, like, really hardcore suck. I'm waiting for Lelina to crit. <laughs> Alright, are we good enough to finish... No! No. No! What about the light brand? What was the treasure inside? The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. Right, Gonzalez? <laughs> Just the chest. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Pretty much. Oh, I, lo I love boss cheese. It's so delicious. Uh, how does the fire tome... Oh, hey! Fire tome is a perfect kill. And it's more accurate. Goodbye, Gretel. He was so excited to get the treasure, even though the treasure was terrible. Nice, Lelina! <laughs> Again, she can't get magic anymore, so I will take it. <laughs> yeah, we, we, need it. we need ourselves another guiding ring. Big time. Big time! How dare- no! You don't sell Gonzalez, he's a treasure. <laughs> he's a real treasure. 
Oh, do we have to see... Oh, this is another one of those maps that building supports is going to be annoying on. I just want to build up Gonzalez Alina and then Rutger Deek. <laughs> yeah, we can't sell Gonzalez, though. He's, he's the kind of treasure that you want to hold on to. Also, selling people is bad. It's called slavery, and it's frowned upon in most parts of the world. Oh, hey! Support time! L Lina, Lina. Yes? This, I give you. Oh, a pretty white flower. Thank you, Gonzalez, but I'm already married to Roy. Oh, God. <laughs> the tank? What's that? What? I dumb. I not remember lots of words. Oh, it's thank you. It's an expression of gratitude. Grat? Um, when someone does something for you and you feel happy, you say thank you. Thank you? That's right. Thank you. Oh. That's kind of sweet. Also, this poor guy. Alright, the Ruker Deke supports take some time to build up. <laughs> because they they both kind of emo. And don't like socializing that much. <laughs> hey! Riot! Riot! And hey, we can take our time with these ch with this chapter, because there ain't no side quest attached to a side quest. Can you imagine if there was a Fire Emblem game that had a side quest attached to a side quest that was super pa a big pain to unlock? <laughs> <laughs> Looking at you, a glimpse in time. Amazing side quest, really like it, but doggone it, it is such a pain in the butt to unlock. Alright, let's conquer the throne. Where is the divine weapon? Hmm. I can hear wind coming from behind the throne. What? I can't hear it. There's a niche between the floor and the wall. Oh! It opened! So, this is the divine weapon? That axe is huge! The Armads. So this is what Durban the Berserker used. It certainly seems fit for a mighty warrior. R report I have a message from Etruria! A rebellion has broken out at the Etrurian castle city of Aquilia! Oh, wait, we've seen this before. Yep. <laughs> Rorts and Arcard have kin kidnapped King Mordred. Yep, here we go. Do 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 do. Anything new here? Thank good. Man, this guy was able to find us in the cave. I can't believe it. And we get our mads. Oh, hey! They cut back on the weight of this weapon significantly. That's good. And it gives plus five defense. Nice. Cool! Wow, we actually have time to do another chapter today! <laughs> Lelina's a terrible teacher. Hey, hey, she's trying her best. The coup d'etat at Aquilia quickly spread to the rest of Etruria. Cecilia escaped with Guinevere from Aquilia. She also formed an anti-coup d'etat group and traveled around Etruria fighting the rebel forces. However, the rebel forces had burn on their side. <laughs> That's the king?! <laughs> He looks like King Chariot from Puppet Travels Her Time if he were a human. Oh, I'm the king of the tree. I'm probably too old to be on the throne. And the meanwhile, the Queen of England is just laughing. Queen King Mordred had been taken hostage, which led Great General Douglas and Knight General Percival to be forced onto the rebels' side. With these powerful forces on their side, the rebels gradually began to push the anti coup d'etat group of, of Etruria. Yeah. The anti coup d'etat forces had been driven into an old castle on the island of Misul to the west of Etruria. Roy had learned that Cecilia had been forced back by the coup d'etat. In response, Roy headed for Misul. Meanwhile, the anti coup d'etat group was under attack by a joint force of. How many times are they going to use the word coup d'etat? <laughs> of coup d'etat forces. And Barrett burns troops. It would only be a matter of time before the anti coup d'etat forces were defeated. This is a big map with all oh, great ballistas. And a lot of troops, and we got promoted. Oh no, this is gonna suck. Alright, village time, Woody. Uh, Silverlands Paladins! 
Yuck! Killer Lance, Axe Reaver! Oh, this is disgusting! That's a cool looking bridge, but this. Oh no! That's a freaking killer ballista! Percival's here! Why is he a red unit? He should be helping us out! <laughs> Those are some impressive bases, buddy. Oh man, Marcus wishes he was this good. Those are some very impressive bases. 17 strength, 14 defense, 18 speed on a pre promote. Like, dang! You could be the pent of paladins. But I have to go up there and take on the freaking killer ballista in order to... Are you kidding me? Oh, these are Percival's personal troops. Oh, no. Who the heck do... How do I, why do I even recruit him anyways? This is disgusting. Why would you do this? Killing Edge? You're just making this level impossible is what you're doing. Oh, Flair. <laughs> oh, it's, it's Mustache Man, who we were supposed to fight, but we fought the Manikeet instead. And he has a spear. Never actually checked his stats. Okay, those are pretty decent stats. Horse Slayer. Okay, keep Trek away. And we have Cecilia. Oh, hey, the Mage General! Okay, so you took over for Pent, the Sorcery General of Etruria. She's got an Air Caliber and a Mend, and those are trash bases! You're the Mage General? What the heck? They've apparently lowered the standards quite a bit since Pent was the Mage General. 11 magic, 10 speed, this is it? 30 HP? You suck! You suck! <laughs> I don't even want you. <laughs> You're, you are hyped up as being this amazing unit, and then you, this is what you give us? Really? You're gonna get slaughtered by these guys in about one turn. Steel sword, steel sword, steel sword. Okay, well, thank goodness the, the hero don't have a silver sword. I don't like all these axe reavers here. At all. Because you you get, you you have all these really powerful lance users, then you sneak in one axe reaver in case we try to use someone like Gonzalez. Like, you suck. And the freaking ballistas here. With silver bows, mind you. Why? I will get, oh yeah, I'm going to lose like half my units on this level. Well, <laughs> hi, Marty. Um, I'm taking a look at this chapter, and we've got some very, very tough units to take on. Also, uh, the green unit who's here to help us, she sucks. She's a promoted unit, and she sucks. Like, Trek has better bases than that, and he's not even promoted. Actually, Trek has, like, vastly better bases than that. Okay, this is good. we're bringing our best and brightest here. There are quite a lot of units, and they are powerful. We recruit Percival by talking to him with Lalum or Elfin. Oh, great! Elfin's our dancer! How the heck are we going to get close enough for that? Maybe we just don't recruit Percival. Okay, we're not taking Chad. We are not taking Astol. No way, no how, Reggie. Um, we definitely want Klein. I think we're taking Bart Ray. <laughs> we, we're going to need all the help we can get on this level, and I think Bart Ray is going to be our way of doing it. <laughs> Why does Ward still have his equipment? Zealot actually could be a decent choice as well. We could use some fast units. Uh, we could use Tate. No. With all of the freaking ballistas, we ain't using Tate. I'll bring Thaney along. But I am not using Tate. No, no way. Absolutely not. Definitely no, no, no way. Zoe could be useful in this level. I'm just saying. Or maybe I'll bring Merlinus. Honestly, I could bring Merlinus. I can use him as bait. <laughs> I am old. Okay. So we got Burnt Ray. Okay, well, hang on. Before we do anything else, Ward, we're not using you again. So give all your stuff up for the good of the army. Barf, we're not using you. I wanted to, but we're not using you. Tate, uh, we'll keep her equipment. We'll keep Zealot's equipment as well. Ray, I don't think we're using you. All right, Bart Ray. We've got some axes at our disposal, so we'll give you a hand axe. It's used, but that's okay. We, you can deal. Oh, he can't use the arm adds, though. Sword Reaver, you can use that. Then we'll buy you an iron axe. 
There we go. All right, Klein. We'll buy you an iron bow. Do we have any other fancy bows Klein can take you? Ooh, the brave bow! You know what? That could be very useful. Let's take that. All right. We might... This might be the level we want to early promote Thaney on. Gotta say, that, that might be a good idea. All right, Lot. Lot, it's your lucky day. We just... Oh. Who has the elixirs? Gonzalez has elixirs. Okay, Roy. Pfft. Roy, you are not using the elixirs. No, no way. Okay, Halberd is going to be really good for this chapter. So, we're taking full advantage of that. We're giving Lance a hand axe. No chests on this level, so you can give that up. Horse Slayer. I'm not... No, 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 no. Roy just doesn't have enough HP to make full use of the elixirs. Also, I don't plan on putting Roy in harm's way in this chapter. Do we have a long sword? I would love it if we could have a long sword. We don't. But we do have a Lance Reaver. I will be taking the Lance Reaver. And no Steel Blade. Steel Blade sucks. We'll take the Worm Slayer. Okay, Ellen. There are no real magic. Oh! Sleep! Oh, sleep is going to be absolutely amazing on this chapter. Yes, I don't think we need Restore. I'll, I'll get you a Heal Staff. There we go. Yes, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Oh, wait, nope. No, no, no. Okay, what do we have with regards to the storage? So we we have an ener angelic robe and an energy ring. I'm kind of holding those out for later. We have an Orion. Maybe I should just sell the Orion's Bolt? Honestly, I probably should just sell the Orion's Bolt. Well, at the very least, we're selling the gems. Oh, yeah. Lelina has been kicking butt, Marty. She is so good. She's capped magic. She's actually leveled up speed quite a few times now. So, um, if she's within Roy's range, she can one-shot almost anything. And with that air caliber tome, she's gonna rip these, uh, Wyvern Riders apart. I'm actually kind of excited. Okay. Uh, Clarine. Here you go. Do that. Uh, we'll take the heal staff and we'll take a barrier. She basically is Hector, but girl and magical. She is pretty magical. All right. I think... I think we ready to play. Oh boy, Chapter 13, Rescue Mission. I am... This is going to be one tough level. This is going to be super difficult. Oh hey, it's Narshin again! Hasn't the castle gone down yet? My lord, the anti-rebels led by General Cecilia are fighting harder than expected. Cecilia! Her again? Always interfering with my plans. Dude, you could, like, obliterate her. She's terrible. Oh, it's the man of the hour, Zephiel! I see you are having trouble, Narshan. Ooh! It's girl. I love girl. Y your Majesty! When did you arrive? Just now. The general from Etruria fights well, I see. No, she doesn't. Have you seen her stats? Yes, but we shall have everything under control very soon. No, let me. I will fight her myself. Your Highness, there is no reason for you to fight. No matter. It shall be some good exercise. Narshan, show me to her. <gasps> Zephyl's on the map! If we reach Zephyl, could we potentially kill him before he gets there? What's the story, Wishbone? The castle hasn't fallen yet, Master Roy. Good, we have to hurry then. Dude, Zephiel is on the scene! Already! Oh my god. I mean, like, could we potentially kill him if we... I know we physically can't reach him in time, but, like, could we? <laughs> the the Exacus. Usable only by the King of Burn. One to two range sword? Well, that's not very fair. Oh boy, yeah, he's stacked. He's stacked. I mean, he would obliterate us. So, we obviously, we can't, but oof. Mighty King of Burn who possesses great power and skill. 
He looks annoying. Zephyr, do you have any idea how much I bent over backwards to save you in Fire Emblem 6, and now this is what you do? How dare you? And Narshan's here, too. He's got a rune sword. <laughs> oh, oh, I really hope the rune sword's a lot better in this than it is in Fire Emblem 7, otherwise he's going to be one easy fight. And he has the Delphi shield, okay. So we can't actually obliterate him with... This deflects arrow bonus, okay. So we can still use our caliber, though. Even on the logic of you were right next to him, no, you cannot. Okay. He's got good stats, but he carries a rune sword, so I mean... He's no, he, ain't, he ain't such a much. We can take him. Okay. These ballistas gonna be annoying. I'm really, really glad that I gave Trek that dragon shield. I am so glad I gave Trek that dragon shield, because he's gonna be great for luring out those ballistas. Okay. I don't want to go anywhere near that freaking killer ballista, man. First of all, I might just... I might just leave you, okay? Pretty sure the rune sword is not much better than it was in FE7. Well, alright. Lance, you can go up. Yes, we promoted Lance. Look on this mighty unit and despair. Alright. But, Ray, you're also gonna go up to the... Uh, well, should we actually... Okay. Other than... Okay, Killer Lance... Yeah, we need we need the elites going up here to get that village. All right, Bart Ray. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing how he performs. All right, so we got some magic units. I'll at least let Thaney get one more level up before I promote her. Thunder... Elfire. Okay. Don't go too far on the bridge. We'll do. Ruger, we're going to need your assistance up there as well. Klein, we're going to need your assistance up there as well. I just... I want to kill all of these units. All of them at once. We'll send Lot this way. Lot... Uh, no, we'll send Gonzalez this way. Gonzalez is cooler and better. Deke. I think you need to head this way as well. Imagine promoting Lance instead of Star Trek. Lance is the man... Lance is, like, my best unit, and Lance reached level 20 first, so... Pfft. That's why I did it. Alright, Clarine, you can go up north, so you can give that support bonus on your brother. Oh, wait, actually, we should probably bury her up. Two res, zero res... Pfft. Okay. Okay. Actually, no. We're gonna, we're gonna stay here, because we're gonna bury her up our units. Because we got some magic units coming this way. Ellen, you can go up north. Is there a shop on this level? There are. Okay. Oh, and there's an arena too? <laughs> Lance looks like Sane? Yeah. I mean, he's he's the green cav. Every single Fire Emblem game has a green cav and a red cav. Oh yeah, I forgot about you, Elfin. Whoops. La 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 la. Maybe I can get Ellen a weapon. That would be nice. All right, here he is. So you are Cecilia, the Sorcery General. King Zephiel, for your prowess in battle, you have the honor to fight me one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, you suck, Cecilia. Oh, wow, Zephiel has unique animations. Okay, um... Whoa! Yeah, um... Oh, yeah, you so dead. Okay, never mind. Cecilia just dies. Too powerful. I think you just suck. But yes, he is powerful. <laughs> All right. Well, if there was, if there was any doubt that the GBA Fire Emblems have the best animations, um, ch check and mate. <laughs> Lost consciousness. I would have expected more. I'm just saying, if Pent was there, he would have kicked Zephyr's butt. Your Majesty, invincible as usual. I suppose this is all one could expect from an Etrurian general. Your Majesty, if you would allow it, can you leave her to me? Hmm. I have some certain bad memories with her. I want to punish her for them. Um, there is no way she's just unconscious after all of that. She took a crit to the face, like she died three times over. Well, all right, do with her as you wish. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You m make one of the prison cells ready. Yes, General Narshan. 
Oh, now Zephiel is the boss. <laughs> the GBA crit animations in general are just the best. Okay, the entourage is coming very fast. Burn is attacking the castle? Yes. This isn't what they said. They decided to leave the Etrurian matters to us Etrurians. What shall we do? Was it General Narshan who made the order to attack the castle? No, sir. It was King Zephiel himself. The king did it himself. So it looks like Burn had no intention of leaving anything to us in the first place. We are going to move right now. Tell the rest of them that. Yes! Oh, so he's going to move towards me. We can use that to our advantage. We can let him move and then el get in Elfin's range. The castle has fallen? Yes! We were too late. Is General Cecilia alright? Uh, she definitely died three times over. There hasn't been a report that she was killed, but probably... Well, if there's still a possibility that she's alive, then I won't give up. We have to hurry. Kill. Alright, now, what's your range? Okay, if Lelina steps in range, then she dies, but we can rescue her away. Okay, well... We'll move her boyfriend in, so she can deal more damage. Doc, darn it! You still can't do- Okay, I could use Air Calibur to get the one-hit kill, but... Should I use Air Calibur to get the one-hit kill? I think no. Well, mm. Let's bury her up, Gonzalez. Alright, Gonzalez. Unga! Oh my god! Ungua! Oh my gosh, Gonzalez, you're too good! <laughs> it's two 61s and dodges a 62. If that happened to me, I'd be kind of peeved. <laughs> Not gonna lie. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Deke. Uh, actually, well, hang on. I don't want Deke to die. I should have barriered up Trek. That was his mistake. This might be a colossally stupid move. But we're moving in the deke. <laughs> you love my soldier voice? Which one? I try to give the soldiers different voice. Just complete derp. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do, Barney? Well, are they going to attack Deke or are they going to attack Gonzalez? They'll probably attack Deke. But Deke's got the barrier. Oh, wait. Oh, well, no. I'm not moving Lelina in range of that ballista. No way. Trek. This is your destiny. Oh, wait! I can... Oh, doggone it. I could have barriered up Trek. If... Okay, well. Change of plans. You go down. Clarine, you go up because... Of your brother. Okay. Where's Killer Lance Man? Okay, Killer Lance Man is in the back. That is good. These guys all have lances. So, Bart Ray, the Brave, is going up. Who has that Lance Reaver? Oh, Deke has the Lance Reaver. Okay. Rooker, pull back. It's Lance's time to shine with his hand axe! There we go. Fainy, you can just kind of hang around in the back. I don't want you in the list of range. Your Majesty! We have found Princess Guinevere! Show her to me. Oh! Oh, this is interesting, because they actually had a very good relationship in Fire Emblem 7. I wonder what's going to be now. Also... Guinevere is a sage, apparently. Will we get her on our team? That would be great. My brother. Guinevere, so good to see you. Oh! Is he still on good terms with her? Zephiel, why? Why do you cause a war, killing innocent people? Innocent, you say? <laughs> Jealousy, vanity, greed. People are fighting over these silly things in every nation. And you say they are innocent? Well... 
The world must be liberated from such pointless fiends that men fight over. That is the purpose of this war. But people are being brutally killed in the process. Sacrifice is always needed in a radical change. That is nothing new. Zephiel! Guinevere, you are my only sister. Therefore, I will forgive you this time. But not the next. Do you understand? Narshan! The leader of Guinevere's defenders is here. No. Yes! Her name is Melody! Alright. Tell her to take Guinevere back to Burn. And also tell her to make sure that the Fire Emblem is returned to the Temple of the Seals. Yes! Zephyr. Alright, there's a lot happening in this chapter. You're playing Fire Emblem 7 right now? No, I'm kind of jealous. Oh, that's right, he has an Axe Reaver. But that's okay, Bart Ray's tough. Okay, that's Killer Lance, man. Gotta deal with him. Alright, Lance. He will definitely double. Because Lance... Da Lance, come on, you're supposed to hit that. 72% chance. Oh, Fire Emblem 7 X. Is that a, uh... Mod of some sort? Oh, no. Not the Lombo. I can't stand the Lombo. It's a fan hack. It's before Fire Emblem 7. Interesting. Well, I do like me some Fire Emblem 7. Need to finish Hector Hard Mode one of these days. Oh! Did not expect him to move his butt out of the ballista. But you know what? That actually is kind of... That's a good thing. Oh my god. See? See? Look look at Lance. Lance the pants. He's doing so well. I mean, no, he can't one round, but it's because of the hand axe. It's not because of him. It's also because of the hand axe. Okay, there's a lot going on in this chapter. Melody. Princess Guinevere, it is good to see that you are safe. Now let us return to burn on my mount. Princess? Melody. Wh what are you doing? P please put down that sword before you are hurt. Melody, please, let me go. Should I oblige? What would you do next? I understand that Roy of the Lisi Alliance army is near here. You would join the enemy? If we do nothing, the world will be overrun by Burns' forces. No matter what kind of reasoning he gives, he's, what he's doing is the same. He is forcing others into submission through power. And I do not think that will lead to anything good. Her name... It looked like Milady because it's an E and not an A. Her name is Milady. Wouldn't that just be her title? Nobody's named Milady. <laughs> Milady, I ask that you let me go. There is one thing. There is one thing I cannot forgive you for, Your Highness. When you left Burn earlier, why did you not come and ask for my opinion? Well, I thought your reputation would be damaged. Did you think I would prioritize my reputation above you? I am your loyal knight more than I am a knight of Burn. That has not changed since I was knighted. Fine. Milady. So if you told me to let you go, then I would follow your order with pleasure. Milady, thank you. You can't- Wow, how many pairs of boots did you chug? You can't move that far in one turn. <laughs> Please stop attacking. I am not an enemy. What? Everyone lower your weapons. Nobody had their weapons raised. Master Roy, she may be lying. She may be a messenger. Killing a messenger goes against the knight's way. See, that's what ambush spawns are like in this game. Teleports out the castle, moves 50 squares, then can move again and attack you. Are you General Roy? Yes, and you are. Roy! Princess Guinevere? You were safe. Yes, I escaped with her assistance. Uh, no, disagree. I never understood the Lin Florina ship at all. Like, they're... J Do people not realize that you can just be friends? <laughs> Apparently they can't. My name is Milady. Roy, General Cecilia's alive. I, that should not be true, but okay. R really? Yes. Though she is severely wounded, she is alive. She's in the prison cell right now. Thank you! We have to rescue her! Oh, hey! New unit! Oh, sweet! We have Milady on our team! Oh, man! And she's a Wyvern Rider! Oh, and the, those are some good stats! The leader of Guinevere's personal guards! 
Heavy but power. Okay, well, the Steel Ant sucks. But Malini, wow, those are some nice stats. Okay. Good Wyvern Rider. This is great. I mean, might be hard to use her on this chapter with all of these powerful units. But hey, we'll see. Um, I've been pretty critical that the Roy and Lelina uh, supports were not romantic in the slightest. And also understand that gay relationships don't happen nearly as frequently IRL. Therefore, there's more skepticism against that. Doggone it, Barra, you can't... You can't shoot the guy with the lance and one-round him. Okay. This could be a little problematic. Hmm. Can you kill the... Okay, he has got the Axe Reaver, though. Alright, how do we... How do we do this? Okay, well, one thing we definitely need to do, we need to physic up Deke. Let's get this side first. Uh, do, 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 do. That's a lot of units. That's a lot of units. Okay. Okay, well, Trek... Let's see what Trek can do. Okay, Trek... Let's see... Yes, okay. Deke, you gotta get rid of this sniper, dude. You got to. You got to! Oh, there we go. Nice. That's not a lot of experience, considering an unpromoted unit just killed a promoted unit. He got res. Aw, oh, yeah. There we go. Doggone it, Trek. Actually, no, this this could be a good thing. This way, we only get, like, one person attacking each character. I actually can dig this. And if we put Gonzalez in the back with the hand axe... Okay, yeah, no, 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 I think... I think this will work out. Uh, what... Okay, you got a steal, though. Okay, Roy can survive at least one bullet from that. No question. All right. As for this side, this is where things get a little dicey. Okay. Let's kill this guy. I gotta get rid of... I wanna get rid of the Paladin, and I wanna get rid of the Killer Lance guy. Okay. You have an 80% chance to crit, Rutger. Thank you. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. End his existence! Alright. Steel Ants, yeah, okay. This, this is fine. This part is fine. Bart Ray, you can weaken him. Okay, I will say, you actually have tough enemies to go up against in Fire Emblem 6. I do appreciate that over Fire Emblem 7, where it's just like, no, 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 you just have hordes and hordes of weak units that you have to kill. That never really provided much in the way of challenge. Oh, right. Lot, you, uh... Falling off a little here. Actually, hmm. Okay. Let's have Klein finish. Wow, Klein. Okay. Please, please hit him. Thank you. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> nice work, pal. <laughs> Is this a big kill for Fainy? Oh, yes! The legendary kill for Thaney! <laughs> Only heard about in rumors and legends! Okay, now that that's done... This guy can't kill Thaney, can he? Pfft, no. If reinforcement spawns appear, then maybe he can. Let's do this.
Uh, oh yeah, he does have a longbow. Oh no, he can sh <laughs> Oh no, he can shoot, uh, Roy. Oh wait, crap. Wait. Okay, no, 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 okay. Well, Lena's not gonna get doubled by a ballista. If she does, then, well. Maybe I'll refrain from commenting on that, but I think you know what will happen. Oh, hey! A kill for, uh, Milady. Unless she misses with a, uh, with a Steel Lance. Oh, dang! Milady looks pretty cool. I kind of want to use her. She seems like she'll be a very solid unit. Are they ready? Yes. The dragons are prepared to fight at your command. Oh, no. If you if you put me up against against Manikeets on this chapter... That's not gonna be good! Narshan, I will give you some dragons to fortify your militia. No! No! I had a Worm Slayer! I don't think I have a Worm Slayer this chapter. I want you to send some of your troops to Nabata. The Nabata Desert! The desert lands located in the center of the, this peninsula! Right. I heard that there is a hidden village there where dragons have been staying since the scouring. I see. Then there is a high chance that a divine weapon is located there. Exactly. They must not fall into the hands of the enemy. I have already sent some troops to start attacking, but they are outnumbered. Yes, Your Majesty! Oh no, are we going to the Nevada soon? I don't like desert chapters. Also, how the heck do you know about Arcadia? That's, that's top secret information, Zephiel. I shall have the village taken in no time. I shall remember those words. But of course! Oh, and there they go. Okay, so now it's Narshan here. Yeah, that's why you don't use an Axe Reaver against a sword unit. I love I love blue dragons. Well, I, I like dragons in general. Definitely glad I gave Trek that dragon shield. I am... Mm. Okay, he got defense. There we go. This is, I think for this chapter, you just, you don't, don't get super aggressive. I think that's the key. Like, have two strong units hold down the bridge, and then slowly pick your way through the enemies. Okay, that's, that's a little worrying. I'm very glad that the archers didn't go for track as well. Maybe they couldn't damage him. Okay, gotta watch out for those wyvern riders, though. That might be bad. Oh. Where am I? You should be in the afterlife, but you're not. Oh, it's you! You're from Fire Emblem 7! You're still not well. You shouldn't move. Did you treat my wounds? Yes. I wasn't used to it, so... Maybe I didn't do a good job. Yes, you did. Thank you. We must find a way out of here. Ow! Don't move. The wound will open again. But I must do something. It will be all right. I can see a light that will be here soon to help. Light? Yes, that light will aid us both. We must wait for it. Who are you? I am Sophia, a priestess of Arcadia. Oh, you're Sophia. Oh, you're the you're the unit who's supposed to be like the worst unit in like ever. <laughs> what is Arcadia? I shall tell you more about it later. Right now, please trust me. Dog on it. It had to be the cute girl who's the worst unit in the whole game. That it doesn't that just figure. Okay, well. Uh, once again, we physicking up Trek. Because Trek needs it. Hey bro, uh you like horse layers? Oh This is why we brought that horse layer. <laughs> Also, I could use a Knight's Crest. It's like, oh, don't you know this guy has a Knight's Crest you can steal? I hope not. That would be... Oh, wait, there are two villages. Maybe one of the villages will have a Knight's Crest. Come on, Thaney. She could just be a Manakeet unit, but no... Yes! Kill the troubadour! 
Now we gotta we gotta watch ourselves because Percival said he was gonna be on the move and also stay out of the range. Okay, we're not even close to it. Okay, no, no, it's fine. Crisis averted. All right. Those Wyvern Rider, this Wyvern Rider can attack Trek. So I would ideally like to. Let's see. Oh, beautiful. Actually, I think at this point we can now... Yeah. Every, nobody here is really that dangerous, so... Well, okay, hang on. Tug on it. Roy. Tug on it, boy. You've got the lances. Alright. Roy, you can at least take out... Wait, I don't want to put Roy in range of the Wyvern Riders, though. That's a, That's a bad thing to do. Okay, um... Okay, here's the Fane Heal. How much luck do you... Okay, he has 13 luck, that's good. 14 damage. Okay, so that'll lower his HP down to 22. Okay, no, pff, Trek is fine, Trek is fine. Keep on trekking. There we go. Nice job, Deke. I'll keep Gonzalez there. I'm keeping Roy in the back. Because I don't trust anything these days. I must say, Lot, you, uh... You've fallen off. You got a lot of HP. It's true, but... I don't really want to go this way being perfectly honest. I don't really feel like... I'm not I'm not approaching these guys. If they want to move towards me, then great. Otherwise, I'm going down. I'm going down. Going downtown. Plus, now we've got Lance to reinforce over here. What could go wrong? I'm gonna keep Bart Ray and Klein up here, just in case we get some unexpected ambush spawns. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Crap. I forgot to trade away the Horse Slayer. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay. I think we're in the clear, but this means... Okay. <laughs> I That could have been real bad, because the Horse Slayer weighs a ton, so he could have gotten doubled by some units. That would have been really horrible. Oh, yeah! War Cry Brigand! Oh, you rarely see the Brigand crit, and it's awesome when it happens. Dude, Gonzalez just dealt almost 120 damage with that attack. Berserker! Here we go. Lance, help take out this Wyvern Rider. <laughs> Here he comes to save the day. Okay. We're gonna heal up Trek a little bit. He has a lot of defense, it's just... Okay. Here, Deke. You can you can finish the job. Because always thinks his face is ugly and he promotes into the one unit with the face covered. I didn't think about that, but that is kinda sad. But he's gonna kick so much butt. Wait, Rapier should be dealing effective damage against that guy. Just saying! Why is this troubadour so tanky? I 
begging your pardon, but that I don't think should happen. Why the heck is that troubadour so tanky? And immune to horse damage. <laughs> I don't even need air caliber. I'm good enough with my regular old spells. And wow, Lelina doubles that. Is that the first one of the first units Lelina has doubled? It must have been a weak Wyvern Rider. Yeah, you you ain't escaping, Miss Etruria. Alright, pay the visit to the village. Here, take this rain. Is it a guiding rain? It builds up your muscles when you wear it. Oh, body rain! I wouldn't recommend it for the ladies, though. Uh, I think I'm giving that body rain immediately to Thaney. Adds to constitution? Yeah, like, that would be the best thing to give to Thaney. She has four cons. She can't wield lances. Although, we could also weigh our options. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Thaney. I don't. I can't think of any more deserving of it. <laughs> I don't need the. Uh, the I, it's true. Hector don't do that well with the armads because the armads in Fire Emblem Seven weighs like sixty. Not really, but I, I exaggerate. Give me that body ring instantly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sweet, sweet six con. Still a bad amount of con for a lance user. Um, Percival said he was gonna move, and he ain't moving. Fake news. Okay, uh, Roy's level 14. Okay, Roy, you need the XP more than Gonzalez does. Even though you don't promote till later. I don't want Roy to reach the point where he's just useless and can't get experience anymore. Alright, nice nice job getting strength there, buddy. I approve. I approve. It's the arty stamp of approval, which is very easy to get, actually. Just don't suck. Which one are you... Okay, you have the killing edge. Sen guy in the center has the killing edge. Still hate that. General Narshin, it's them. Uh, okay, that must have been a scripted thing to happen. The Lucio Alliance Army. They better not pull some ambush spawn stuff. What? Flare! I thought you had taken care of them at Juto! I thought you had taken care of them in chapters like 3 and 5. Touché! Sis! <laughs> I did. Well, I left a dragon to deal with them, so... I never thought they would have survived. What?! In that case, my reputation as your commanding officer is also jeopardized! If I can't defeat the Lisi Alliance army here, people will start to suspect my ability. I must do something. But they defeated a dragon! They seem to be tougher than I expected. General Narshan, what should we do? I have no choice. Flair, I will return to Aquilia and plan an attack on the Lisi Alliance army. Flair, you stay here. Me? Stay here? I, I love how, like... <laughs> What the heck? Narshan's like, no, my reputation's at stake. We must defeat the bear, so I'm going to leave. Really? You don't have to defeat them. I just want you to hit them as hard as you can and decrease their numbers. General Narshan, you would use me as cannon fodder. Flair, to tell you the truth, you would have been executed a long time ago when you failed to capture the Western Isles. I'm giving you a chance to prove your worth again. You should be thankful. <laughs> but... Or do you want me to carry out your execution right here? You have a rune sword. Yeah, right. Yes, sir. Understood. Good. Then I leave the rest to you. Honestly, if Narshan had just stayed and killed us in Chapter 3, even with the rune sword, he, we would have been no match for him. Actually, Marcus might have been able to kill him. I don't know. I haven't gone against him yet, so I, I just don't know. 
Alright, let's get Critger closer. Alright, Deke, you're so close to promoting. Just need to get uh, one more level up. 50 more experience points. Alright, we got our Cav Brothers. We got our Brigand. We've got our Deke. Okay. I'm also keeping a lookout in case brigands spawn, and we might need to rush that uh, village. The rune sword is a terrifying weapon. No, it's not. There you go, Deke. Oh yeah, a lot. You're still here. Do 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 do. Oh boy. Oh. We can't quite get close enough to halberd him. Maybe we can double hit hand axe. Oh, Gonzalez don't even need no stinking halberd. Oh, axe level increased. Yes. Can you use the sword reaver now? C rank. No, but I think he can use the Killer Axe. Here you go, Trek. Dane. Okay, the Horse Slayer went from being, like, super bad weapon in Fire Emblem 7. It went from Fire Emblem 7. It was super bad in Fire Emblem 7, but it's very good in this. Triple Effective Might makes quite the difference. Lance, draw your lance. The Sword Reaver is C tier? Oh, if that that's great if he can, because that's Gonzalez's main weakness right now. He can't do very well against axe wielders or against sword wielders. Oh hey, how's the Clarine Rutger support going? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Fine, she'll support her brother then. I still haven't truly gotten Critger yet. He's not he's not Critger until he gets over a hundred percent chance to crit. Okay, so we got some Wyverns approaching. What weapons do they have? Steel, steel. Horse Slayer. Okay. Keep our... <laughs> keep our calves well away from that guy. Can do. Will do. Done. Man, paladins are good. Okay. This is... This is simple. Get our Lance Reaver. And we get out our axe. And we have Lolina as backup. Okay, you got a lot of range. I'm not a huge fan of that, actually. And we also have Meladia as backup. And Kritger as back. Actually, we just we got a lot of backup. <laughs> and we got the biggest back up of all. Lot. Is he lagging behind? He can't keep up with all these mounted units and uh, promoted units. It's Thaney! Here, Bart Ray. You can get closer. Aw, yeah! Bart Ray the Brave! Very nice. Aha! I thought there would be ambush spawn sooner or later. Even mercenaries can't stand up to the might of Lance's speed. If you get Reaver weapons together with Silver weapons, something wrong happened. Well, Silver weapons... Uh-oh. No, not my Gonzalez.
No, not my guns. There's... Okay, the last guy can't hit without using the javelin. There ain't no way the javelin's dealing 11 damage, right? The steel lance only deals 14, or deals 14. Javelin is significantly less powerful than the steel lance. Unless that guy has... Oh, no, 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 no! No! Me hurt, erg. No, Gonzalez! How come he got hit by three 30%? That's... That's kind of BS. Yes, what is it, General Percival? We're leaving. What? Are you sure? You said you were gonna move, and you didn't. You're a liar. Burn's actions are clearly an act of insult to us of Etruria. I cannot aid Burn any further. We must return to Aquilia and inform Lord Douglas of this and plan our future actions. Retreat at once. Yes, sir. Well, we ain't getting Percival either, I guess. Percival lied to us. He said he was going to attack. He didn't. Well, great. Rip Gonzalez. That's unfortunate. Guess we're using a lot again. <laughs> or Bart Ray. That was so unlucky that he got hit by three of these in a row. Alright. Well, you're gonna wish you hadn't done that. Well, Lena's not gonna like, not gonna forgive you for that. Get out of here! Get out of here! How dare you, Gonzalez? You may have thought you were a monster, but you died a hero. Take that. Okay, the Worm Slayer is actually very good in this. Good. It sucked in Fire Emblem 7. Like, it really sucked in Fire Emblem 7. <laughs> I did not kill Gonzalez. Three Wyvern Riders killed Gonzalez, and I... The odds were astronomically low that he was going to die there, and of course he died there. This, these things happen in Fire Emblem sometimes. And as much as I would really like... As much as I don't want Gonzalez to die... I'm not resetting this whole chapter for him. I'm trying to really be careful about the, which units I'm like, I have to reset for this person. It's mainly Roy and Lelina. And at this point, maybe a lot. Because his, little, his younger sister is like, Please make sure a lot doesn't die. <laughs> I'm like, well, I guess we gotta make sure Lot doesn't die, then. <laughs> Here you go, Kricker. Guess we don't need that extra hero's crest. <laughs> We're gonna make you pay for that. We're gonna make you pay so much for that! Gonzalez was so good. We will never forget his sacrifice. <laughs> Lance will never forget! We will never forgive! <laughs> oh yeah! I forgot about the reinforcements. Well, if we're fa Oh wait, they're mounted units. They are gonna catch us. I should probably check what equipment they have. <laughs> Lot can deal with them all by himself. Okay, we got Steel Lance, Steel Lance, Javelin, Killer... Great. Another Killer Lance. Great! Oh, great! It's the same crappy enemies with unfair equipment. I love that. Well, we'll let them come to us. With Bart Ray the Brave and... Alright, giving me something great. Maybe a Knight's Crest? See the sword? I got it to defend myself because I heard an army was approaching, but I can't seem to use it very well. It's a nice sword, eh? It was used by a brave kid who was standing up against Burn like you guys. Here, I'll give it to you. So use it to end this war. Brave sword? Al sword? What? 
sword wielded by Al? Who the heck is Al? <laughs> the only Al I know is the guy from Toy Story 2. That's a durable sword, but, uh... Oh, hey! Oh, no. Flair has a spear, so we... Oh, wait. <laughs> but Lelina has air caliber. It's like the Gant Lance. Sure. I don't know who Gant was either, other than the Gant from Ace Attorney. Okay. These guys, as soon as we start getting in range, are going to be like, Oh, hey! Let's start attacking. Wait. Milady, you're not a very good at you're not very good at rescuing people, are you? This is why we have Thaney, I guess. We're bringing uh, Deke to the front lines. Also, whoosh! Lance, our savior. Well, I guess Lelina can support somebody else now. There are comics. Interesting. When they said, like, oh, this sword was wielded by a brave kid, I'm like, it's gonna be Brave Sword. That's great. I love me some Brave Swords. But then it wasn't. Okay... You are approaching pretty close. Let's pull back a little bit. No, we're releasing you there. Trek can be backup. Let's deal with these forces here first. And then we can focus on dealing with the guys who are approaching us from behind. Yeah, they both basically are a hybrid of an iron and a steel. They're not great, but I mean, like, they're better than nothing. Give me that javelin. You can't use it. Even with the body ring, you can't use it. Who needs HP? Nobody. Absolutely nobody. Alright, then just build supports with Rooker. There are a lot of mounted units today. Oh, well, no. Trek can't kill him in one hit, and this guy's gonna double. The Trek don't even care! Where was that where was that luck when Gonzalez was getting triple teamed? <laughs> Even with weapon triangle advantage, you still can't go up against Lance. You nuts? Lance will beat the pants off of you. Oh, and speaking of beating the pants off, hey Lance, first level up as a promoted unit. That's a Lance level up, except he got res, which is pretty nice. <laughs> Elfin, meanwhile, is down there just like, I'm in danger! <laughs> Elfin has lagged behind a bit compared to everybody else. It's okay, we have Thaney. Oh, Thaney and Lot can... Oh yeah, I didn't have Thaney and Lot support on when I repeated that chapter. That's right. Oh, nice, Bart Ray. Yeah, Bart Ray. <laughs> Roy, the horses are coming. Roy, snake, snake. <laughs> okay, Axe Reaver. Oh wait, which one do you you got the Killing Edge? Okay, can we take out Mr. Killing Edge? Mm, we're gonna need. Someone a little more powerful than that. Oh, yeah. Someone like Trek! <laughs> also, wow, Trek will just shrug off the killing edge like it's nothing. I really need another Knight's Crest, by the way, because my man Trek is about to uh, be able to promote, and we don't have no stinking Knight's Crests. 
It's a bit of a problem. Okay, here. Kill this guy, Deke, and you can promote next turn. Oh, yes. Oh, that's sweet, sweet EXP. Mmm. Oh, what a level up. You got defense. That's a good stat. Okay. One of you guys has the axe, Reaver. Alright, let's take you on. Oh! I probably should get the lady an Iron Lance. <laughs> there was this guy. <laughs> He's like, my my friends left me behind. <laughs> he he was he he was taking too long to eat lunch when they gave the order. I'm like, everyone march. He's like, oh, whoops. Nice job, Rutger. Okay, you know what? This chapter was not as bad as I was expecting. It was definitely annoying, don't get me wrong. But, like, and it was definitely annoying that Gonzalez died. But it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Percival is the other big amount of horses. Percival left. Because apparently... He was like, all right, we're going to move soon. And then he's like, psych, I'm actually just peacing out. So I guess we're not getting personal. You know what? It's okay. I have plenty of other good mounted units. He was he was, he was, was the best at the pre-promotes, for sure. But I don't think he's going to be as good as... Lance is about to cap his overall speed. I, he's not going to be as good as Lance or Trek. And honestly, he was only, I think, slightly better than Zealot. Well, no, he was he was quite a bit better than Zealot, but I still have mounted units out the wazoo, so I'm not super sad that I missed him. General Percival is still swearing his loyalty to Prince Mildane, even after he passed away. That's so sweet. I don't think Prince Mildane passed away, though. I'm pretty sure he's Elfin. Oh! Okay. Well... Um, that just made things a little more difficult. <laughs> Finally, that other horse back unit's like, Oh, wait! My men have left without me. Who has an Iron Lance they can spare? Oh, I... Well... Actually, Thaney probably can't. Here. I'll give you the Iron Lance, but I get my Javelin back. Trade agreement. <laughs> Alright, there we go. She still can't double with the Iron Lance, but she's a bit more accurate. We'll get you your own Iron Lance at the end of this mission, milady. Alright! All the important stats. Nice job. Well... Not defense, but strength and speed. I will happily take that. Alright. You all wanted it. You've all been waiting for it. It's time for the Big Deke promotion. Oh, yes! <laughs> Deke is the hero that we need. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Yes! All of it! Yes! He can use axes now! Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, this unit. He's, he's so good. So good. Okay, well, there's a, there's a, there's a high amount of horses that are heading this way. We probably need to start getting in position to take them out. What about, what about the droid attack on the Wookiees? They, they can wait. <laughs> okay, we definitely want our bro Trek... Definitely want Bart Ray the Brave. Definitely want Lance the Pants. Klein, you can stick around a lot. You know, I guess maybe you can do something. Possibly. We'll get Clarine over here for the support bonuses. Yeah. 
There we go. These horses are scary, because you get the Paladin with good stats and the Silver Lance. You've got the one Cavalier that has the Killer Weapon, and then you've got the one Cavalier that has the Reaver Weapon, just to throw you off and screw up your strategy a bit. Not a fan, must say. Not, not a fan. Thankfully, there is a gap between the troops. Oh, hey! Now I'm a lady doubles. Oh, beautiful. Mmm, delicious. Alright, I'm guessing this is a Nobathany. Can you kill him with your... <laughs> no. You can't even kill him with the Javelin. Wow. I'm still gonna chuck the Javelin at him, but... Oof. Thaney takes a lot of damage from that, actually. That's okay. That's all I wanted. I just wanted the Thaney level up. <laughs> ah, there's... That's Thaney in a nutshell. She still can't do damage. Oh, she capped speed. Okay. I think it's time to promote her, then. We can use the Elysian Whip on her next turn. I would I would ideally like her to get more strength before she levels up, but to be honest, I don't think she's going to. Because that's just the Thaney way. Okay, here's what we're going to do. So Lance is obviously the most competent unit when it comes to dealing with these calves, so we're going to play uh, a song for him to invigorate him. All right. Although... Okay. There we go. Okay. Axe Reaver dude is in the back. He can't reach. Killer Lance guy can, but I don't think Lance is going to be able to reliably one-round these guys, so I think it's okay. Ah! Lulene is in danger. Lulene is in danger. Lulene is in danger. Lulene is in danger. Not anymore. I am very glad I checked the range on that guy. I am very glad I checked the range on that guy. That would have been one dead Lolina. And unlike Gonzalez, I would have to reset for that. Alright, keep on trekking. Oh, I didn't- I haven't even had to break out the sleep staff yet. Alright. Okay, that was a little scary. Didn't expect him to move first. Lance would have survived regardless. Man, those killer weapons, man. I'm not a fan of killer weapons. Killer weapons on your units, like, they don't crit reliably enough to be able to, like, be amazing, but on enemy units, man, they are so scary. Alright, we're gonna be leaving a lot of enemies with very little HP. Because that's the nature of the hand axe. Oh, I didn't expect you to go for a lot. <laughs> I mean, Lot can hold his own, I guess. He does have a lot of HP. He is in a forest. I'm kind of digging that Lance is weakening all these guys, and I can pick them up with other units. And hopefully there's a big enough gap in the horses that we can regroup before the second wave is like, ha ha ha! Oh yeah, that's a big enough gap for sure. Nice job, Lolina. I really need another guiding ring, though. Gotta say, just gotta get another guiding ring. Beautiful. Alright, hey. Hey. 
Oh, wow, Bart Ray one rounds. Ooh, yes! Bart Ray the Brave. Bart Ray's one of those pre-promotes I don't mind using. Actually, there are a lot of pre-promotes in this game that I don't mind using. Yeah, Dragon Shield on Trek? Good idea. Although, in hindsight, Dragon Shield on Gonzalez might have been a smarter idea. But hindsight is 2020 and all of that. Guess we'll keep using a lot then. I was literally, like, very close to benching a lot. <laughs> Man, even with the hand axe after he's weakened, he's not enough to kill, but that's okay. We've got Deke coming. Wow! Oh man, I can't even imagine how annoying this level would be on hard mode. It would be a nightmare. It would be a nightmare of great proportions. Okay, let's see Deke the Hero. Oh, I love the heroes. Heroes are one of my favorite classes in Fire Emblem. Especially in the GBA games where they have the awesome animations. Alright, now we got the second wave coming. Hopefully we can have people like Rutger help out. Heal up Deke. Oh no, the heel broke. Whatcha? Goodbye, Etruria. It's been nice. All right. Uh, should I promote Thaney now? Yeah. Honestly, she's not going to be getting EXP a whole lot. And I have two Elysian whips. Normally, I don't promote this early, but she has capped speed. Her level-ups have been a bit lackluster, and I do think the bonuses that she gets here will be worth it. Only two extra strength, but that's okay. The, uh, six extra HP is great. Oh, okay. There we go. That's a much more competent-looking unit. Flare's like, I've just seen these people transform before my eyes. What is going on? All right, here comes the second brigade. Okay. Silver Lance. Okay, great. Axe Reaver dude is right behind Silver Lance. Oh, no. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> okay. You've got eight movement. That is frightening. How does so Horse Slayer fare? <laughs> Okay. Maybe we gotta weaken him first. Alright, if Barre weakens him. Yes. Barre can weaken him. And Trek, do not miss this. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. We should be good. Because Trek has such high defense, he ain't gonna care about things like a killer lance. And with, if Barre has the bow equipped, one character can attack... Well, actually, they might have javelins. One person can attack him, and then one person can throw a javelin at him. Barre has enough HP and defense, he's going to be fine. And that's... And that is all. <laughs> Way to go, Roy. You stabbed a pony. I hope you're happy. Okay, well. Did someone say shopping spree? <laughs> oh, there's also the... I am not going to the arena. That is just asking for it.
arena is a definite nope for me. Come on. Get that Rooker support. I want that last Rooker support. It'll be so nice. Also, we need to get that Roy Lance support as well. The Pegasus has grown a horn, I repeat. The Pegasus has grown a horn. <laughs> Bartray don't care. You think Bartray cares at all? Oh, I am... Best decision I made was giving Trek that horse slayer. Dear lord, he has slaughtered a lot of you. Actually, I... Trek's about the cap, isn't he? I probably should have actually traded to a different weapon. Yeah. Rats. Well, Trek is capped now, and we have no Knight's Crests. So... Yes, please, please, chuck the Javelins at Trek. Please. Yes, please. Yes, chuck the Javelin at Deke. Please. Welcome, Poss! Yep, we're doing Binding binding Blade. It, it, it's been a bit of a rough one. We cleared the side quest, got a bunch of worthless treasure, and Gonzalez gave his life in the ultimate sacrifice. We will always remember. Oh, wait, we can buy killer weapons here? No, no axes available. You want axes? No, you don't get those. Okay, let's buy a steel bow. Dang, okay, well, we're getting some killer lances. We're getting a killing edge or two. I'm... S <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I was sad, too, but I didn't want to reset the chapter for it. We have promoted Thaney. She still has very, very little strength, but she has a little more con now, which will help out. Lance is promoted. Rooker is promoted, and Deke is promoted as well. I did not promote Walt. This is Klein. He, he's Walt, but you don't have to train him, and he's better. Okay. Well, Walt's probably better long term if you actually go out of your way to use him. Yeah, 10 speed at level 20 isn't fabulous. Wow, Roy, yes, Roy, get more strength. I approve. Alright. Here we go, Bart Ray. No, no, no. The reason I put it, the Dragon Shield on Shrek is because it makes him go from taking a bit of damage to almost no damage, making him a much more effective tank. But seriously, like, once he promotes, nothing's going to be able to touch him except for magic units. It's foolproof. Okay. You got an Axe Reaver. Wow, Rooker, are you serious, bruh? Oh, yes! Oh, I love that crit animation. Luckily, we've got Deke to help out. <laughs> oh, I am loving Lumina's offensive attack power. It's great. Oh, you're, are you free EXP away from capping? Okay, no, you've still got another level after that. That is acceptable. There we go. Man, there was one Troubadour on this map that was significantly tankier than the others. Oh yeah, Melina hits like a truck. Unfortunately, if a physical unit breathes on her, she dies. And again, we don't have no Guiding Ring to promote her. I... I hope that we get a Knight's Crest at the end of this chapter. Or if we do go to the Nevada in the next chapter, maybe we can find a Knight's Crest hidden in the sand somewhere. That would be nice. That would be great. She has gotten a couple of points of speed, and I have fed her a speed win. So, while she doesn't double reliably, she should at least avoid being doubled by a lot of non-promoted units at this point. So, I consider that a win. 
the boss, uh, this ain't this ain't gonna go well for you. Okay, milady. Ah, yes, lightning, lightning. We can. I'll, I'll buy another restore staff. We have one, but it'll be nice to have two. Uh, let's see. We'll buy some men's staves. We should buy some antitoxins. I don't think we have enough. We'll get another Elfire Tome. That should be good. I went Bart Ray route. Uh, I don't know what that means, but I have Bart Ray. Yes. I like Bart Ray. He is fun. He's the fun uncle we all need. Gonzalez is not as good in the Bart. Okay, what do you what do you mean by this? What do you mean by Bart Ray root? <laughs> Bart Ray showed up in a level and I recruited him. All right. Bart Ray's fun, but he's slow. Uh, Ten speed on. I mean, he is an axe wielder, so yeah. But he also has a brave axe to make up for it, and he hits like a truck. Plus, he can use both, so he can, like, one-shot Wyverns. Chapter 9 is when you have a root split. Is that the level, the foggy level with the, uh, on the Western Isles? Yeah, that's the chapter. Interesting. This is my first time hearing about this. Oh, the freaking villages where I visited one and the other just immediately closed? Whichever one you visit will change the route. That's so weird and doesn't make sense, and I don't like it. Oh, oh wait, hang on, hang on. If you go the other route, the non Bart Ray route, do you get a dancer instead of a bard? Because on my first attempt at this game before I rage quit, I got a, I got Lalum the dancer, and I do not remember getting Elfin. Okay, this... Okay. Fanes are starting to make a little more sense now. Okay. Do, 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 do. Who should we have challenge Flare? Should it be Lelina? Should I think Lelina should get re final revenge on um, the boss for Gonzalez dying. I think that... And then, and then Valina will cap. This is a good plan. I like this plan. Clarine, can you please get to A support with Rutger already? Or alternatively, I could get, have Rutger use the Worm Slayer. Or I could have gun. Oh, there's so many good options. So many good options. <laughs> the echidna root? Do you get knuckles in that root? <laughs> oh man, I should have gotten knuckles instead. I that's exactly what I'm doing. Clarine has a well not Clarine, sorry. Rootger has a C support with Deke and a B support with Clarine right now, and both of those are giving him crit bonus. So I want Critger. I've heard you can get Critger that way. <laughs> yeah, you can get him to over a hundred crit. I, I can't wait. I'm super excited. But man, Rooker supports slow. Oh, I should have gotten Knuckles! <laughs> Talk on it. Hey, Lance, how do you fare against this? Actually, not too bad. Not too great, but not too bad. Let's let's soften him up a bit. Oh, no. But I am a Knight of Burn! I will not surrender! Oh, yes you will. You will surrender or die. Actually, shoot, Lavina's just not going to cap, actually, because... Mm. Yeah, because Lavina will die from this guy, no question, so that actually might not be the best strategy. I think we're going to go Critger, then, with the uh, Worm Slayer. Do we have the Worm Slayer? I may have given up the... No, we do. We do. Give me that light brand. <laughs> the 
<laughs> Either way, you will surrender. Okay, you've you done you done good, Lance. You've done very good. It also would be not fun to shoot at him with Bart Ray. And or Klein. In the meantime, just uh, I don't like that 3% crit, so we're going to hold off a bit until we can get him in support range. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I bought... I didn't necessarily buy those for Milady, but... Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's pretty good. How about the Wu Dao? 87%. I mean, we gotta go Worm Slayer here. Say hello to my little friend. Bye. <laughs> Remember this. There are. Plenty of warriors greater than I. Burn's army shall annihilate you, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, they've they've killed a good amount of my guys. They've killed Sue. They've killed Alan. They've killed Gonzalez. Who has nine con? Oh, Milady. Milady does. Oh, and they weigh nine. Actually, that's a perfect. Hmm. Okay, that's actually pretty. Promising then. That's pretty promising. All right, I do like Barre. I don't know who he can support though. Oh, we will get that support because we were supposed to get that earlier. <laughs> that those were effectively his last words. Yes. All right, we need the Thaney Deke support as well. Melina's Poor Ellen. I don't know who Ellen can support. I really don't. Because you don't tell me who can support whom. Maybe Milady and Bart Ray can support. That would be funny. Oh, wait. Oh, I bet you Ellen and Milady can support. Because they, they are both Guinevere's servants. Oh, this is perfect. Cool. All right, thanks for joining, Poss. I'm about to finish the stream as soon as we uh, keep building up these supports, that is. Have a good night. If I do Trek... So uh, who can Trek support? I don't know who Trek can support. Before I go, I don't know when I'll get the chance to buy killer weapons again. I'll buy another killer, Lance. <laughs> Thanks for the 100 bits, Poss. Arthur and I appreciate it greatly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I said, Gonzalez, he thought he was a monster. But he wasn't. He died a hero. It's, it's actually quite beautiful. Alright, now let's build up those supports. <gasps> Support? Oh, with Klein. All right. Clarine, come over here. Oh, Klein, how do you fare today? Not too well, I'm afraid. Is something wrong? Is is true that you said harsh fiends to the cleric and made her cry? No, I did not make her cry. She is the one who just started cry- stared crying. This game, this tr this patch, guys, it's, it's A+. Plus. So it's true that she did cry. It is her fault. She was sucking up to you. That doesn't sound like Ellen. What do you mean? She was healing your wounds before I got the chance. Clarine? But I wanted to heal your injuries so that you would be proud of me and would say that I was being a great help, and... But I was proud of you. Was? Past tense. <laughs> I was thinking that my naive little sister is so grown up now. But now that you've done this... I I'll never do it again! Please don't hate me, Klein! What are you talking about? I'll never hate you. Oh, thank you, Klein! But you are a butt. <laughs> she, yeah, she kind of gets on my nerves a bit. 
not a fan of not a fan of Clarine's personality, but I mean, she's a healer on a, a horse, so she's good. Not sure how good she'll be when she promotes, though. Nothing, nothing. Come on. I know. <laughs> yeah, she's such a brat. <laughs> she's nothing like Priscilla. Priscilla, well, I I know Priscilla like kind of is crushing on her brother a bit, but she's at least sweet to the other members of the army. Actually, Clarine's kind of crushing on her brother a bit too. What is it with troubadours doing that? Do 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 do. <laughs> hey. Sarah, Sarah's definitely a brat, but she's not that bad. At least, if you ask me. Alright, I think we've exhausted our support points. General Cecilia! Roy, I've made a fool out of myself in front of you. No, of course not! Yeah, you, she kind of did. I'm relieved that you're alive. But what of your wounds? Are you alright? Yes, this girl treated them for me. And you are? I am Sophia. A priestess of Arcadia. She prophesied that you were coming. And you also and you also said that you would tell us more once we were safe. Yes. Arcadia, our home, lies to the east in the Nabata Desert. We tried to stay an isolated people. But Byrne found out about us and... They attacked you? Yes. I was too slow, and I was captured. Well, I don't know what your speed stat is, but that could be true. I see... But why would Burn attack a small village like yours? I don't know. Maybe they found out about the dragons that live in Arcadia. Can we get one on our team? Can we get, like, five mana uh, That's that, that wouldn't break the game. Dragons?! Yes. Arcadia was built by dragons and people joining forces a long time ago. Such a place existed. Master Roy, please save our village. But the story does seem a bit unbelievable. Yeah, Merlinus, you, you, you have a point there. In any case, it's probably true that her village is under attack by Burn. We owe Sophia anyway because she helped General Cecilia. Thank you. Then can you tell me more about your village and the dragons? Yes. I will gladly tell you what I know. I hey, I never hesitate to welcome a cute girl into the army. Gotta say. Alright, well, we definitely streamed for a lot longer than usual today, but we got two chapters done, and you know what? Those were both actually pretty fun chapters. The cave level was a little boring, and the treasures were kind of lackluster, but it was fine. And that level, definitely a tough one, but I think that level was fairly fair. Like, I I think if I had gone up the top... Well, okay, hang on. I didn't recruit Percival. That's... I guess that's a problem. And I lost Gonzalez. I, I can live with Gonzalez. I can live with not recruiting Percival as well, honestly, because I probably wouldn't have used him. He's a pre-promoted paladin. They're good, but they're kind of boring, and I have two paladins, basically. Maybe three. Actually, four if you include Marcus. <laughs> Five if you include Noah, which I don't. So if you want to recruit Percival on that level, I get that would probably be extremely difficult and very unfair. But if you don't care about it, that level was actually quite fun. I actually en I en I enjoyed that one. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. Next time we'll be so we'll be streaming most. I think we'll be streaming on Saturday. I don't know, but I think we will. And if so, I I will need to figure out what I'm streaming. We'll be streaming Fire Emblem Six again Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So tune in for that. Next chapter will be Arcadia. Okay, I guess we're heading to the desert. Oh boy, that's gonna be a sucky chapter. I can already tell. All oh, right. Well, that'll at least be interesting, so join in for that on Monday. I'm sure it'll be full of pain and annoyance, and, well, some people like seeing me rage a little bit. Anyhow, thanks for joining in, everybody. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your night, a great rest of your week, and God bless. See you next time, everybody.